I think the really big things that I spent on this month is for vacation treat yourself and shopping which i don't really feel bad about because i think that if you spend moderately then i think it's totally okay i love giving gifts to people nowadays and i think it just it makes me so happy to see them happy so i did spend quite a few things for gifts this month hi everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are pulling back the curtains and i will be walking you through every single thing that i spent for the month of august i'm going to be walking you through all of my variable expenses this month and we will be totaling them up at the end what you won't see in this video are my fixed expenses so think of your fixed expenses as expenses that come out every single month and they typically come out at the same time every single month as well as typically the same amount i've got quite a few fixed expenses and i usually go over them every single month in my monthly money videos so i'm gonna put a screenshot up here and i'm also going to link a video here of my latest monthly money video that walks you through all of my fixed expenses in detail so you guys can check that out afterwards if you are interested and variable spending differs for every single person just depending on their lifestyle as well as your priorities so let's get into it. By the way, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Reza. I usually talk about personal finances and sometimes I talk about luxury goods. In today's video, we're talking all about money. So if you are interested, then make sure to keep on watching. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and subscribe if you're not already. All of the numbers that I'm talking about in this video will be in Canadian dollars. And I also want to give a big shout out to my girl Zoe who inspired me to make this video. I'm going to link her what I spend in a month videos down below so you guys can check that out as well. I've got my laptop here that I will be referencing just in case you see me looking over here. So the very first category we're talking about is coffee. So typically I put $60 in my coffee budget. The first expense is for Nespresso. I paid $65.40 for I think six of the little Nespresso sleeves. I typically get like five or six just to sustain us for the month. And I do typically put in a monthly Nespresso order. So that hovers around 60 to 50. So that is in line. The next expense under the coffee category is Birds and the Beats. This is a brunch spot here in Vancouver. And I paid $2.89 for a cup of coffee while we were there. And then the third expense for this category is Starbucks. I filled up my gold card with $15 just because I was running out. So the total for coffee this month is $83.29 and that is slightly over my budget, but I think that's totally okay. The next category we'll touch on is Cypher. So Cypher is my cat, if you didn't know. Typically, I like to budget around $30 to $35 for him just to get his food and anything else that he might need. So the first expense is Bosley's. That is a pet store here in Vancouver and my total for that is $14.55. I split my expenses with my partner for this one, so I only paid for half of that. And the second expense is at a grocery store called Fresh Street. We ran out of his wet food, so we had to go to the closest grocery store to us just to pick up a few cans, and that was $5.93. So the total for this category is $20.48. Next category is eating out or dining out. This is one of my biggest categories. I like to budget $440 for this category. So. I went to Chipotle and that was $12.97. I also went to a sushi spot for lunch. That was $13.23. For dinner, we went to my favorite salad spot here in Vancouver called Hungry Guys. That was $14.98 for a bowl. And the next one is a pretty big expense. We went to Hook, which is a seafood restaurant here in Vancouver and it's in English Bay, if you guys are familiar, and it's just got the most beautiful views. So we went there to actually celebrate the success of the launch of my jewelry collection for my brand. So we kind of went all out and spent $143.68. Next is another sushi spot that was $28.46. Cafe Mira is a lunch spot near my work and I picked up a sandwich and that was $5.78. Another sushi spot and this was $16.53. As you can see, we love sushi for dinner. So that was $16.53. And then the third one, I think this is a Middle Eastern restaurant and I don't want to butcher their name. So we tried out a new spot, which is just in our neighborhood. That was $15.20. Again, for lunch, I went to a spot near our place, so Sebastian Fine Meats. I got a sandwich from there. That was $6.30. Next, we went to a Filipino restaurant, kind of a little bit far, but I think it's always worth it every time we go there. So we did takeout, that was $32.50. This one was split between my partner and I. We went back to Osaka again. This is probably one of our 
top favorite sushi spots in Vancouver. That was 4637. We did treat some of the people who were staying with us. So my partner's brother and one of our friends stayed with us and we went to take them to a sushi restaurant. Okay, we're almost done with the dining out category. We went to Firecrust. This is one of my favorite pizza spots in the city. That was $18.35. And then lastly, for dining out, we went to Newtown Bakery to get some pastries and that was $8. So total for dining out is $362.05. Next is gifts. I mentioned in one of my videos that I love giving gifts to people nowadays and I think it just it makes me so happy to see them happy. So I did spend quite a few things for gifts this month that I didn't really budget for. So the very first one is four tickets to the Blue Jays game in Toronto in September. So I am going back home to Toronto for my dad's birthday and he loves the Blue Jays and it makes me really like watching the games as well. So I got four tickets for my family and I and the total for that is $117.95. And then the second one is AirPods. So I went for a run with my partner Felix and he was wearing his airpods and then kind of put them in a pocket and then we did laundry and he realized that he washed his airpods which is very very unfortunate so I am gonna surprise him with a new pair because he got me my latest pair of airpods because my airpods broke so I kind of just wanted to give him a pair because he is now airpods less for the time being so i'm sure he'll appreciate that and yeah the total for airpods is 167 dollars and 27 cents and my total spending for the gifts category is 285 dollars and 22 cents groceries so groceries i like to budget around 300 dollars a month and i feel like in my groceries category this month is not fully up to date so again our closest grocery store is fresh street so we spent 16.34 and then we also went to Kelowna, which I've referenced in my previous video. So in Kelowna, we did go to Costco and we split the bill eight ways because there were eight of us and the total actually came up to $53.16 for three days, which is not bad at all. So right now my total for my groceries is $69.50 and and I just need to do a little bit of digging if I missed anything. But for now, those are the two expenses that I have for groceries. Home category. This one's always interesting. If you saw my previous video, you kind of know that I went pretty crazy on the home category last month. And this month, I think, is just a bit of a continuation. So I mentioned last month that we bought some things from Fable. Fable is a dinnerware company who is based out here in Vancouver. And they were having their summer sale, and I couldn't resist. So we bought two different types of their glasses, the short glasses and the tall glasses. And then I also got some plates as well, just to kind of complete our dinnerware collection. So in total for... 12 pieces so eight glasses and four plates the total for that was 275 dollars and 64 cents so it was a lot but they were having a really good sale and i was going to get these things anyway so i'm glad that i got 30 percent off personal care one of my favorite categories just because i feel like these are self-care and wellness types of things that i do just for myself so i got my eyebrows done this is a pretty hefty amount just for getting my eyebrows done, but that was $36.66. And then I also got a pedicure this month that was $40.43. And lastly, I got my manicure and that was $35.81. I kind of feel like these are pretty inflated numbers just because of where I live and the location. I remember getting my nails done cheaper than that but maybe i'm wrong you guys let me know but total for self-care this month is 112 dollars and 90 cents okay shopping is interesting because i think that as we get closer to a new season so obviously september it's almost fall i kind of start to think about what are the new pieces that i want to bring into my wardrobe for the upcoming season so i did a bit of shopping this month at cause so cause is i think a sister company of h&m and i spent 504 dollars at cause for three things i think that cause actually makes really good items and i think that their cuts are amazing and really elevated pieces so i did buy three things and all of those things were around like 150 dollars each plus tax all added up to 504 dollars 
I don't regret this at all. And I, I like to think about the pieces that I bring into my wardrobe just so I know that I can continue to wear them and they're not like a one-time wear type of thing. So I do feel really good about the pieces that I am bringing in. And yeah, that was, I spent a lot and I definitely went over budget in this category this month. And then the second thing that I bought are a pair of Birkenstocks. So I bought the can and I'll put up a photo here for you guys so you have a visual of what they look like. I just think that they look really cool. That was $360 and the total for my shopping this month is $864, which is so much money. I know it's so much money. TBD on if I'll keep the Birkenstocks, but yes that is what i spent this month for shopping transportation so transportation for me are things like gas and any ubers or any buses that i took for the month so firstly is we charged our car we have an electric vehicle so charging the car was 5.99 we did take a car to Kelowna and we paid for parking because we were around the downtown area and Parking there was quite expensive. It was a total of $18. And then I took a bus because it was too hot to walk um, when I was doing some errands. So that was $3.15. And then I've got a few Ubers here. So our car is actually in the shop right now because there is some something wrong with it. I'm really not sure what's happening with it yet. They're doing a diagnosis today. So we had to take some Ubers because we don't have a car at the moment. So the very first one is $15.12. Next one is $9.80. And then the third one is $9.30. Really unfortunate that there's something going on with our car. That might be an added expense that we are going to have for this month. Uh, but I will keep you guys posted. And yeah, right now we don't have a car and we're just kind of taking Ubers or public transportation if needed. And the total for transportation is $61.46. I'm gonna do vacation first and then we'll end off on treat yourself. So for vacation, I think I mentioned to you guys in my previous video that I wanted to go to Montreal to do a bit of a solo trip as well as meet up with my family in the East Coast. So I booked some of my flights already and I mostly booked them with points actually, which is amazing because now I only had to pay for taxes. So the first one is my Montreal flights. I paid mostly with points, so thir around 30,000. And then the taxes for that, that I had to pay was $33.73. So that was amazing. And then from Toronto to Vancouver, so I'm gonna be driving from Montreal to Toronto and my family is in Ontario. so. I'm going to be flying out of the Toronto airport and my total for that flight was $47.60 because again, most of it was paid with credit card points. And then the big expense for this category is the hotels in Montreal. So I like to stay at a Sonder. So if you didn't know, Sonder is um, kind of a hotel chain in North America. Actually, they have it all around the world because I stayed at a Sonder in Paris and I've just had really amazing experiences with all of the Saunders that I've rented out. So in Montreal, I definitely wanted to stay in the Sonder and I picked a Sonder that is in the old port. So I paid a little bit extra for that location. And for three nights and four days, my total for that Sonder was $776.47. So pretty high, but I also think pretty reasonable. And I'm really excited about the location and just going to Montreal um, in general because I haven't been since I was 18 and we didn't really explore when I was 18. So I'm excited to explore the city and meet up with a few of my friends there as well. So my total for my upcoming Montreal vacation is $857.80 and the majority of that is the hotel that I will be staying at. Okay, and lastly, the juiciest part of my variable spending is treat yourself. I don't typically budget for treat yourself. I like to treat myself here and there just depending on kind of like what's going on. I like to celebrate myself every time I have a small win or a big win. So I mentioned in the previous video that we were launching something really exciting for my small business and 
it went really well and I'm really happy about the results and I know that I worked really hard for that. So I wanted to celebrate myself with a handbag that I have been eyeing. I actually did a full on unboxing, which I will link up here if you guys are interested. And that video kind of goes through the whole unboxing, a little review where I bought it and how much I bought it. But if you were just looking for the spark notes and want to know how much I spent on that bag, the total for that bag that I spent for Treat Yourself is $568.71. I did buy a Dragon Diffusion bag online and I'm very, very happy with it. I took it with me to Kelowna and I've been wearing it ever since and I've just been really, really loving it so far. But yes, this is another really big expense, but I really love this bag and I can see it carrying over into the fall months and then as well as just wearing it for many years to come. So that is it. Those are all of my variable spending for the month of August. And the final grand total for my spending is $3,561.06. So this does not include my rent or any of my fixed expenses at all. It also doesn't include any of my business expenses because I am trying to separate those out between business and personal. This is all just kind of personal expenses. I think the really big things that I spent on this month is for vacation, treat yourself and shopping, which I don't really feel bad about because I think that if you spend moderately, then I think it's totally okay. And obviously if you have the means to it, it's totally fine. This is all dependent on you as a person, on the things that you prioritize. And to me this month, I prioritize these things. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.